Hi, my friends. I have a very special new book for us today, today called Drawn Together. And I'm so excited because this book is about a family that's different than my family, but might be like some of yours because we're learning about all of our cool differences this week. This book is kind of different because it doesn't have a lot of words. It's got a lot of pictures and we're gonna see why. Are you ready? I'm very excited. The book is called Drawn Together, and it says sometimes you don't need words to find common ground. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Let's get started, my friends. The book is Drawn together. Look, do you see? A lot of pictures but no words. The little boy was ringing a doorbell and he sees his grandfather. He doesn't look, how does his face look guys? Happy or sad? To me it looks kind of sad. He doesn't look too happy to be visiting his grandfather and I wonder why that is. Do you see their dinner plates? His grandfather looks like he's eating something like ramen. And the little boy is eating a hot dog. I love hot dogs. I also love ramen. Get them eating together. The little boy says, so what's new, Grandpa? And his grandpa answers in a different language. They don't speak the same language. Do any of you have grandparents that speak a different language? It must be pretty hard for them to communicate sometimes when they don't speak the same. Maybe that's why the little boy's feeling a little upset. Must be hard, look at the two of them watching TV together. It looks like it's kind of hard to understand each other. The little boy says, can we watch something else? And his grandpa responds in a different language. They both kind of look frustrated. Sometimes it's hard to understand each other. So the little boy goes to his backpack, takes out his sketchbook and his markers. And he starts to draw. Look what he draws. Look, it's him. He kind of looks like a wizard. And his grandpa, look at his face, is excited. Let's see what happens now. <gasps> Grandpa's going to get something. Do you see? Grandpa's getting his own sketchbook. And it says, right when I gave up on talking, my grandfather surprised me by revealing a whole world beyond our words. I wonder what he means by that. And in a flash, we see each other for the first time. There's the little boy's drawing. And then, oh my goodness, it's grandpa's drawing. That is beautiful. Look at their pictures, my friends. Look what they made together. All the things we could never say come pouring out. Whoa, look what they made together. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness, look what they made together here. And we build a new world that even words can't describe. I see a fish, but just when we're closer than ever, uh-oh, that old distance, do you see, look, the little boy's there and the grandfather is at the other side. 
comes roaring back like a dragon. This time I'm not afraid. He's not afraid this time. Why do you think he's not afraid this time when they don't understand each other? Because I know that together, oh look, we can make our way across. They drew a bridge. Even though the grandfather and the little boy don't speak the same language, they have found another way to connect with each other through their art. Now, after years of searching for the right words, we find ourselves happily speechless. Look at all the pictures they drew together. That's beautiful, my friends. And now the little boy looks happy. They're happy together. Oh my goodness, my friends. I love this book so much. I love it because even though the little boy and the grandfather are very different between themselves, they found a way to talk to each other through their artwork. How cool is that? They're so different, but in their art, they're the same. That's so cool. Also, I think it's really cool that their family speaks two different languages. That's amazing. How many of you speak another language? That is so cool. All right, guys, I had so much fun reading this story with you. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.